Hello beautiful guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Garden Line. So in this video we will discuss beneficial and effects that play an important role in our ecosystem and for plants which do pollination. So beneficial insects play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy garden ecosystem by controlling pest pollinating flowers and adding in decomposition, encouraging beneficial insects to climb in your garden can reduce the need for harmful pesticide and promote natural balance. In this video, we will explore a wide range of beneficial insects and provide ideas on how to attract and support them in your garden. So, our part first, we have understanding beneficial insects. So, on the top of this, we have ladybugs. Ladybugs are well known predator of aphids, scale insects, and mealy bugs. Attract ladybugs by planting nectar rich flowers such as daisies, fennel, and yarrow. On second, we have lacewing. Lacewing are the aquarius predator of aphid mites and small caterpillars. Plant nectar producing flowers like cosmos, sweet alzium, and dill to attract lacewings. On the third, we have praying mantises. Praying mantises feed on a variety of garden pests, including beetles, aphids, and grasshoppers. Provide all the tall grasses and shrubs for them to lie their egg cases, now as octasy. Hoverflies. Hoverfly also known as a flower flies as important pollinator and consume aphids, tribes, and other soft body insects. Plant flower with open centers such as diases, marigold, and sunflowers to attract hoverflies. On five, we have ground beetle. Ground beetle are nocturnal predators. They feed on slugs, snails, caterpillar, and other pests. Create a diverse garden habitat with dense ground cover, stones, and logs to provide shelter for ground beetles. On 6 we have parasitic wasps. Parasitic wasps are tiny but effective in controlling pests. They are like their air inside a pest such as effort caterpillar and scales, eventually killing them. Plant a variety of plant plant to attract adult parasitic wasps. Number 7 we have tension flies. The tension flies parasitize caterpillar, beetle, and other pests. Plant dill, parsley, and other umbiliferous flower to attract these beneficial flies. On number 8 we have Bumblebees. Bumblebees are excellent pollinators and help in good food set in many food plants. Provide a variety of flowering plants with different bloom times to attract and support bumblebees. Number nine, we have solitary bees. Solitary bees, including mason's bean and leaf cutter bees, are important pollinators for fruit trees and garden crops. Provide nesting sites such as hollow plant stems or bee houses to attract and support these bees. Number ten, we have dragonflies. A wakeage, predator of mosquito flies and other flying insects. Uh, part second, we are creating a beneficial insect friendly garden. Diversity in a plant selection. Choose a diverse range of plants that provide a nectar, pollen, and shelter throughout the year. Include plants with different flower shapes, colors, and dim times to attract a variety of beneficial insects. In cooperative native plants. Native plants are well adapted to local conditions and often attract to a wide array of beneficial insects. Research native plants in your region and incorporate them into your garden. Avoid pesticide use or minimize eliminate the useful use of harmful pesticide in your garden. As they can harmful beneficial they can harm beneficial insects. If pest population become problematic, try using organic and targeted pest control method instead. On number four, we have plant beneficial insect attractor. Plant specific flower and herbs known to attract beneficial insect. Example in cool dill, fin, marigold, etc. And I also use a lot of different images or pictures to acknowledge you about these things as you can see in every single picture. If every if different condition. As you can see in this waste and this is a bug. This is a fly, this pollinating on purple flowers this is bee that is also doing pollination and searching for food nectar the same beautiful nature of God strips this are used to confuse predators oh this is something used they also spread diseases like fungal disease etc this is a wasp which I told you about it is can kill predators this is a mantis which I told you in previous lines that it eat different things 
So thank you guys for watching and staying with me in this video.